Hey everyone, Max here from Bushcraft American. What would you consider the ultimate backpack air gun? Seriously, in the comments, let's let's get the conversation going. Let's talk about what would be the ultimate, the most ideal backpack air gun. Let's find out. This was sent to me by Ben at the pellet shop. So thank you to the pellet shop for supporting me and sponsoring my YouTube channel. But check this out. The AEA HP Max and 45. As you can see, I've got the Element Helix for optics on this. And this air gun shoulder is so nice. Man, I really like these Element scopes, by the way. Thank you to Element to send me these. I never would have known what the quality of scopes would be if Element didn't introduce me to their scopes. And man, I am a fan of their scopes. I love having the scope shade because I hunt a lot, obviously, in thick brush, thick wilderness like this. So having the sunshine is very important so that you don't get a glare. But man, let's talk about the HP Max. I think this might be tied for first as the ultimate scouting backpack. If you run into a bear or mountain lion, air gun. Obviously in California, we can't hunt big game with air guns. But in terms of when I go out scouting, when I'm going to look for deer, when I'm on public land and I'm camping with my dog, um, I want to be able to hike 10 miles and have something that is not going to get in the way. Something that's going to be easy to carry, easy to shoulder, and most importantly, obviously, I want something that you can make quieter. The other added benefit is this is a six shot rotary magazine for an air gun, for a 45 caliber air gun. Look at that. I've got the 196 NSA grains that I've been shooting in through this air gun. The 196 grains have been grouping very well. Uh, this air gun is not regulated and the drop off is pretty significant. It's pretty much the first three to four you can guarantee you're going to group very well. And then after that, the next, you probably got another six or eight shots and they're all going to significantly drop. That is why this is an air gun that's going to be great that, hey, if you just want to go out, hit the wilderness, do some scouting, see what you're going to bump into. If you're in California, maybe you're going to bump into a coyote. I think the lethal range for this one that you're going to really want to take a good ethical shot on any game is going to probably be within 60 yards. Uh, I haven't chronographed this, and I will. I'll do that with my other air guns, but it's not. these aren't ideal conditions to do a chronograph. But in terms of the HP Max being a backpack air gun, I mean, look at how nice the shoulders It's such a great length. It's got a lot of power. I believe it's pushing around 300 foot pounds out the muzzle. I think I saw a few other YouTubers, 196 grain, getting up upwards around 700 F, uh, FPS. But 45 cal, very, very light, shoulders great. Rotary magazine, adjustable buttstock, collapsible, fits in a backpack. By the way, folks, me personally, all of my air guns, I hand pump. And what I really like about AEA, 
a e a air guns they are very easy to hand pump so i got this one filled all the way up to the 250 bar by hand and i barely break a sweat and i think it takes me about five minutes my texan hand pumping it takes about like 30 minutes that's a workout so again when we're talking about backpack air guns air guns for shit hits the fan air guns for if you're scouting air gun for if you're someone that's hey you don't want to hunt but you got a hunting license and you're now getting into backpacking this is a great tool to have this is something that's great that hey you can backpack with your pump carry this with you go on your backpack hike and if you're on public land take a few shots and do some plinking with 45 caliber air gun but honestly this one is up there with the ride around the i'm taking it with me let me see like is there a chance i'm gonna bump into a coyote tied for folks tied for first folks this air gun is tied for folks okay folks now for the bad news I talked to Ben about this. I think I saw one other YouTube post about this. There is one flaw that you might have with this air gun when you're filling it up. Now, it comes with this fill probe. And normally what you would do is you would just put the fill probe in and just start pumping it and you're good. What happens with this one is, for some reason, on the inside, there's like a weird like groove or a lip that if you push this all the way in, it causes so much pressure in there that the that the washer breaks and then causes this to get stuck in there a little bit. So number one, if this is stuck in your your AEA HP Max, just get a plier and wiggle it. It will come out. Number two, what I realized what you have to do is put put the fill probe all the way in and then just back it out like a half a centimeter or a centimeter and then you should be good. The other thing is, if you're someone like me that's gonna be planning on plinking with this air gun a lot and scouting with it and putting some lead through it, I, I don't even think I have 50 shots to this air gun yet, right? So this barrel isn't seasoned yet. Get a lot more of these washers because even when I've tried to make sure it wasn't all the way in, it still broke on me. So I've gone through already three different washers replacing this, but that's just, one little warning for everyone don't put the fill probe all the way in or you're going to blow the washer and then the fill probe's going to get stuck other than that please like and subscribe like i said i'm going to start putting out more videos thanks to the pellet shop i've got more air guns to review it's almost deer season so i've got some deer season content coming up once I get on to some other public land where it's a little bit more open or if it's a little bit more sunnier, and then I will do a chronograph, uh, chronographing of all of my air guns so I can share the numbers with you guys. But until then, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the AEA HP Max. Please like and subscribe. Thank you to the Pellet Shop, Bushcraft American. Decided to take one shot, as you can see. At 60 to 70 yards, pretty dialed in. No reason for me to take another shot because I don't want to waste any ammo. We'll take it.